Welcome to Mexico City, home to more than 21 million people and nearly 4 million cars producing untold tons of pollution. A cleaner way forward is electric mobility, developed in part on the cutting edge of motorsport, as embodied in the world's premier all-electric racing series. Welcome to Free Practice 2 for this afternoon's ABB FIA Formula E Championship Round 5, the Mexico City e Prix. It needs to be... Oh, oh, oh. Alex Lynn! Off in the barriers at turn nine. Oh, he's properly damaged that, yeah. Left front, front wing. What's he done? The damage he's done to the back of the car. That's a big old shunt for Alex. Are you okay, mate? You all right? Yeah, yeah, no worries. Okay, mate. Do you think it's just a front wing or did you go in on the suspension? No, no. I think uh, I think it's a bit more. Okay, copy. If you go into the part of the track that's dirty. Oh, oh no. So going around the outside of Rosenquist, that puts him offline. Alex Lynn wasn't that far into the grey area. He wasn't even out at the midpoint of the track, I don't think. Yeah, yeah. Looking at that again, I mean, it's nothing he could have done. That was not his fault. So clearly a bit of traffic there in the way for Alex's 200 kilowatt lap. Um, do you think there's much damage done to the car? Have you heard from him? I think it's fairly evident that there's quite a lot of damage to the car. The main thing is that uh, Alex is okay. Um, you know, he didn't come to a halt in a uh, in a great hurry, so hopefully he'll be fine. Well, unfortunately, already with a grid penalty um, from the previous rounds, it's it's already going to be a difficult day. But to be honest, I've, I've got a lot of faith in the car, and I think the team are putting a lot of effort, and we've been very quick today. Um, so I'm pretty hopeful. So fingers crossed that the team can deliver a car for you. I'm absolutely positive they can. These guys are really top notch, and I love working with them every day. The only option he had was to completely abandon that lap. Off it goes, it's just because it's so dusty. I think the FIA need to start having a wee word about when you're going slowly being offline. And we haven't got it long. They won't be using that car in qualifying, but they've got to get it ready for the race. What's the progress? What's the news that you can tell us? So the good news is that the chassis looks like it um, didn't suffer uh, too much damage at all. Um, so we won't need to, uh, there is no repair required. Uh, we had that checked by the FIA because they're obviously interested that um, the structural integrity means that all the safety inherent in the chassis is, is provided for the driver, as we are. Um, so we, it's not as big a job as it could have been. Now it's time for qualifying. Practice is complete. Here comes Sam Bird, reasonable middle sector. He's fractions away. If he's hooked up this final sector, he has a chance of beating Vern and slotting into second place, but he doesn't. He goes third. And Alex Lynn, his teammate Sam Bird, is on the brink at the moment. So if Lynn gets in, that would push Bird, the second place man in the championship, out. And he is still there or thereabouts, you know, three hundredths of a second away from Buemi. So this could put him up into Super Bowl. Here comes Lynn across the line. Where's this going to put the Englishman? It is third quickest. So he moves up into the top five Super Bowl. Here we go then, Alex Lynn. Looking for his second Formula E pole position. Stunningly took a pole on his debut in New York last year. So here's the benchmark from Alex Lynn, a 1 minute 2.014. So at the end of qualifying, it's Felix Rosenquist that will start on pole position. Alex Lynn in third has a 10-place grid penalty, as does Sam Bird in ninth. Both of the DS Virgin cars will be starting a lot further back than that. From sprawling Mexico City and the Hermano Rodriguez circuit, welcome to round five of the ABB FIA Formula E All-Electric Championship. I'm Bob Varsha. Joining me, lead race commentator and the voice of Formula E since the very beginning, Jack Nichols, joined by Triple Indy 500 champion Dario Franchitti and Nikki Shields down in the pits. We're moments from the start well, the atmosphere beginning to build here in Mexico City. We started in Asia, we've been to Africa, South America, now Central America plays host to the fifth round of this 12 race season and here is the grid. Tenth place is Alex Lynn for DS Virgin. He had a penalty for changing his gearbox. Sam Bird not only has a grid penalty for changing a gearbox, but also had a mechanical problem in qualifying. He's 19th on the grid as we get ready to go racing here in Mexico City. All five lights are on. And we go green in Mexico City. It's a decent start from Rosenquist. Turvey's trying to pull alongside him, but Rosenquist comes across, covers it nicely. Buemi looking racy, and D Daniel App looks to the outside. Great start from the German for Audi. He has made up a place. Everybody's safely through the first corner. Lynn is looking still behind Andre Lotter, looking for a way past, but then Lopez is in his mirrors. That coasting area. Is he going to go? Oh, no, too late. Ooh. Ooh, nearly. Have I got enough energy to attack if I want to? How is the energy compared to Lotterer? You are very similar. Last information, you are the same. He has been told to be careful with energy. Good job, mate. Keep it up. This is good. Keep your elbows out, mate. Box this lap. 
Here we go then. This is where it gets very, very busy in the pit lane. Now it's a case of changing over your cars as quickly as possible. What position are we? Currently P9, so it's just settling to the efficiency now. Settle in, look forward. This is Sam Bird in 10th, Lynn and Bird. So Bird's made some good progress with it through the pit stops. Yeah. I, I mean, really impressive. But he, again, he pitted early, so he's got to uh, conserve his energy a bit more. Oh, <laughs> and then, that one was Sam uh, Bird. Just, yeah, just hip checked him and then Sam lost, uh, lost some places as well. There we go. There was the look. Sliding up the inside and crunch into the side and Prost is sent straight over the chicane. There might be some discussion about that afterwards. And Daniel Abt is going to win for Audi. Their winless streak is over. Abt victorious in Mexico. OK, mate. Unlucky. Unlucky. But look, we've got points. And from the penalty, that's good, mate. That's good. So what were the positions then? Uh, so we're P17. Uh, Lynn finished in 10th. Exactly what we thought would happen. We're at the back, we have to take a gamble. DS Virgin Racing in Mexico. I love coming here, there's always an awful lot of uh, controversy. So I think we did a really good job. Uh, we put ourselves into a position where Alex Lynn qualified second and uh, uh, he ended up starting 10th. And he finished uh, with, uh, in 10th position and scored a point. And that's great when you know, realistically he should have been outside the point. So to do that was fantastic. Sam had a really difficult time from 19th got himself into eighth, but unfortunately our strategy didn't work out for us this weekend. But we did all we could. Vastly pleased with the attitude of our team and our drivers. Um, bring on points at the last day.